Right, hello everyone. Nice to see you again. And it's been a while. Um, things have changed and games are now released. And I've increased technology and internet and time. Well, I've increased time, but I'm off on holiday at the moment, so I thought I'd do this. Um, a game called Artifact Out, which is Valve's... Is it Valve? Must be Valve. Is it? Yes. Yes. I don't know my game companies. Um, it's a card game based on Dota. Dota 2. And it's been out... Well, it's in... Um, still in closed beta, but I got access to it a few days ago. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm aiming to try and get good enough to compete in this. Uh, myself and a few other X-Scrolls players. Um, Pew Q, Ice Cream, Magpie Man, Anti-Rad. All the big guns. Uh, we're getting together and we're going to try and band our knowledge and experience and testing skills um, to try and do well because there's big money on the line and it could be good um, and yes YouTube I know you weren't expecting this I wasn't expecting this um, I spent a lot of this afternoon trying to get this to work and uh, we're getting somewhere we've got face cam don't know if you want it or like it it's a bit of a rubbish webcam um, but it's what everyone seems to do nowadays so I thought I'd, I'd keep it so there you go. Um, onto the game. Um, I'll do an introductory video now on how to play. Um, just briefly going over things. I'm not going to go into too great a deal. There's plenty of better videos out there which I'm sure will explain things better than I can. Uh, so I'll do a quick introductory game, show you what it's like. If you like it, great. If you don't, well, can't all enjoy things. Um, that's not how it works. You can't enjoy everything. I don't know. Um, and then I'll get onto proper deck techs and proper gameplay um, when we get to it. So this is the game artifact. We're going to play a game right now against a bot. Oh no, let's play against a human. Let's play against a human. Um, casual play. I've built two decks so far. They're both kind of controlly black decks. Uh, we'll go with this one. The other one I want to do a deck tech on when it's when it's ready. This deck is hasn't been tested properly, but it should be enough to get a win, hopefully. Uh, the other deck is a black blue deck which controls a board and does lots of stuff. Okay, so there's four colours in artifacts. There's red, black, green, and blue. I've got all four on display. Uh, usually, most decks are comprised of two colours. Um, there's a few. Well, there's four one-colour decks out there, aren't there? Uh, there's no three colour out there. And the game is split up into three lanes and five heroes. This is really difficult to explain. <laughs> so, three lanes. As you can see, each turn, well, at the start, you deploy three heroes and three creeps. Three creeps are two fours. Got uh, a hero here, which has seven attack, two armour, 11 health. Armour acts, um, well, there we go. Armour reduces each incoming damage source by that amount. Uh, we get a starting hand of five cards. I'll pass the turn here just to keep it moving. And they, they fight. This is a really bad explanation. So, oh yeah, there you go. So, cards in hand, red and black. You can only cast cards in a lane if you have a hero of the same colour in it. So, I can only currently cast black cards, which I will do. I'll cast Iron Fog Gold Mine. This gives me three gold after the combat phase. This here displays your mana. Uh, this here's how long you got left. That's me, that's how much gold we've got. You get one gold for killing a creep, five gold for killing a hero. Obviously I'm getting three gold for this. Uh, at the end of each turn, so a turn is consisting of all three lanes, um, you get to spend your gold on items. And you've got, a, you've got an item deck and the main deck. Main deck is 40 cards minimum, item deck is nine. Um, so we'll just attack here. Okay, so we've got five gold, he's got two. Uh, we get an item deck here. So this is my item deck here. We've got 9 out of 9 left. So this costs 25 gold, so it's quite expensive. But we've got cards which give us lots of gold. Uh, we've got consumables. We get can choose one of these per turn. And then you've got a secret shop which has all the items in the game which are shuffled randomly. Which you can also buy one per turn as well. We're just going to pass here because we want to save our gold. Okay, so we'll deploy Legion Command here. So every turn your heroes 
come back. Um, when a hero dies, it takes two turns for it to come back. Um, but because we've got five heroes, we've got one coming back turn two, one coming back turn three. So we can deploy Legion Commander here. Actually, maybe I should have deployed it over here. Might have been better. Don't think that through, but this way we can kill this hero here. You don't really want two of the same colour on the same lane. But this does kill this. Theoretically. So there's spells, and there's also creeps. So these are just normal creatures. Um, obviously it costs four. We've got four mana, so we might be playing this next turn. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So we'll just play the Stonehall Elite here. Now we could play it left or right. Play it left here. If you play it right, there's a 25% there's a twenty-five percent chance of the arrow here either going left and 25% chance of it going right, 50% chance of going forward. So if I put it here, there's a 25% chance of it attacking left, which I don't need to do because Legion Commander is already killing this, so we're fine. But every turn when the turn starts, there's the chance of the arrows pointing different directions. Let's see if I can find an example of that. Can't, yes. Okay. And apologies for the low quality video <laughs> and explanation. I haven't had to do anything like this in goodness knows how long. Okay, so here we can cast Slay, which kills a creep. Which I'll use on that. As I said, you're probably better off watching other videos to get an explanation of things, but I just wanted to try and get a video out there just to say hello again. Okay, we can payday here, so this will double our gold. My task awaits. So now up to 30, so now we can buy our big items. So we've got a vesture, which costs 19, which is probably the best item. And we don't need anything else, so we'll pass that. So we can talk about we're going to put Sniper. I think we're going to put Sniper over here. So at the start of every turn as well, two creeps randomly deploy in random lanes. Uh, at the very start of the game you get three creeps which deploy anywhere. So you can see the arrows pointing different directions there. So they're going straight, these are all going different directions. There you go. Oh, we've got an example. There you go. And this goes to the third lane. Boop, boop. So here you go. Phantom Assassin had a 25% chance of attacking that way, 50% chance of attacking that way, 25% attacking this way. And we've got that. So it's attacking to here. This is still only doing damage to this card here. Right, so we've got an item here. Vesture for Tyrant, it has rapid deployment, so usually it takes two turns for a hero to come back. Rapid deployment means it only takes one turn. So we can just keep redeploying our hero if it dies, which is a huge advantage. We're going to equip it to a bounty hunter here. One thing I should explain is initiative. At the moment you can see he's got initiative, which means it's his turn. Um, if he passes here, he will still have initiative for the next lane. Initiative is a really important aspect of this game. Um, there's some cards which will give you initiative, like Hipfire, because um, it basically means who act first. Or rather, who acts ne next if you haven't passed. Okay. There are cards with those arrow buttons there, which means you can cast it in any lane. Uh, we're just going to cast Vesture on here. You can see here there's three symbols on each hero. So this is uh, for weapons, this is for shields, this is for health, basically. You can only equip one of each type to each hero. So I can't have like 17 vestures on here if that wouldn't exist. But this gives my hero three armor, so it's no longer taking any damage from here. Also gives my tower three armor, which you can see here. 
which reduces all these damage here by three, which is why we're only taking three damage, which is quite good. Uh, we've got initiative here, so I could cast hip fire, don't need to. All this attack. So you can see initiative there. You can also see what heroes are deploying where and what heroes are around as well. So you can see he's getting this card called, I think it's called Chen. Next turn. And I'm by no means an expert at this game, so I will make mistakes. I will not win games. Um, I've had mixed results. I've played, I think, four um, competitive constructed runs so far. Um, I've got, first time I did it, I got 5 nil, and then I got 1 2, and then I got 1 2, and then I got 5 1. So along those lines. I either get 5 wins or 1 win. So the maximum you can get is five wins, and if you get two losses, you, you lose. There's also abilities on each of these heroes, which you'll see here. So Phantom Assassin has a continuous effect, which means it gets four damage whenever attacking a hero. So this is doing ten to it. Sniper has the ability to deal five damage to a unit, and it's active every three turns. So every three turns, I can deal five damage to something. I can stand here all day. So we'll hit fire this. Let's just kill it. Thank you. Also, still keep initiative, so we'll kill that hero. We get another five gold. Um, I don't think we need to spend anything here. We're doing okay. We can afford to wait. So we're now up to six mana. And we've taken this lane now. This is going to die. Well, I should probably explain how you win the game. Uh, to win the game, you need to destroy two of your opponent's towers. So um, each tower starts with 40 health. So we're about to destroy this one. So we just need to destroy one more. Um, once a, a tower is destroyed, it then respawns as something called the Ancient, which has 80 health. If you destroy the Ancient as well, you win. So our heroes are effectively going to be useless after we destroy this lane, so we're going to have to try and find a way of getting them to move to another lane. And there are plenty of ways to do that. A couple of which are in our item deck. There you go. So we've got Pick Off and Payday. Pick Off we can target anything on any lane to do full damage. Payday we can double our gold. We've got a black hero over here, which I think we're going to want to use to pay day. Now, if I try and play Assassin's Apprentice, it only let me play it in front of the hero. I can only play it, say, over here, if all of these lanes were blocked. Fifteen uh, seconds remaining. It's doing two damage here, which isn't too bad. So I think we're just going to pass. And we'll try and take out the third lane as our way of winning. Um, so what we could do? We we'll pay Dane. That should be enough. And we'll try and get our red heroes out. You see the timer go down on his turn as well, so I don't know how long you get per turn, but I think it's about 30 seconds, which isn't a long time at all. Okay, so he's moved one of his heroes to another lane. This is what um, this card's ability is, which you can see here, Darkseer. I'll explain um, how to build a deck after this game as well. I'll explain it now. Um, so each... For each deck, you have to pick five unique heroes. Each hero comes with three of its um, special cards as well. So Bounty Hunter puts... If it will show me it. Okay, signature card. It puts three track into your deck. So automatically, you have to pick five heroes. You get 15 cards in your deck. And you've got to fill the rest with 25. I never played Dota 2, by the way, so 
I don't know any of the law side of things. Okay, so that died because of this card here, which uh, there was one piercing damage to each enemy before the action phase. Piercing means it ignores armor. So we're going to payday. Good. Bring us up to 50 gold. So video wise coming up, I intend to do a deck tech um, over the next couple of days when um, when we've finally got a, a build we're happy with for uh, black blue control, and then I'll do uh, an expert run constructed, which hopefully we'll get five wins with um, over the next five days after that. Coming out to fifty-seven gold, and hopefully you like it. If you don't. <laughs> Don't let me know. You never drill. Okay, so I'll buy a blink dagger. This lets me move here is to another lane. Buy that. Another blink dagger. Another vesture. Another vesture. Okay. Really wanted to horn of the alpha because that's one of the big, big drops we could play. But we can now get our red heroes out of this lane. What's this do? Okay. So we've got new heroes deploying. We've got two heroes. Two black heroes deploying next turn. He's just got Enchantress to deploy this turn. Which will stick in here. He's putting in here for some reason. That's completely bizarre. But okay. So we're going to put a blink dagger on each of our heroes here. And move them out. We'll duel Enchantress first though. So. And we'll go into the third lane, why not? Is it a timer? Is it going to start? Yeah. One armor, okay. So let's blink out of here. Oh, no, we don't do that yet, actually. We'll. Um, We'll duel first. We'll be back. Thank you. So duel basically uh, counts as fighting for Magic Gathering, so these two will have a, a fight. And now we can't cast any more spells because he hasn't got a green hero here. So we'll stick Vesture on there. We'll stick Vesture on here. Put dagger on here, and now we'll move everything across to here, to try and take out this lane. Hopefully we get an arrow pointing forwards. The effect on Blink Lagger is every two turns, so I won't be able to move these next turn. Do have a lot of damage though. How much damage have I got going through? I planned this perfectly. Anti Hunter's dead. That's a bit rude. So I'm going to smash their defences, which lets me condemn an improvement. These are improvements here. Basically, spells which last all game. Sorry if I'm not doing much talking, so I'm thinking most of the time. I mean, we've won this game quite easily. Um, it's not too competitive, this league, so... And the question of how much money I spent to get all these cards? Too much. Okay, he's filling in the side over there. So 
So we're going to have to try and break through all these creeps now. But we've got three black heroes deploying next turn. And we can cast Time of Triumph, which gives all my heroes plus four attack, plus four armor, plus four health, plus four cleave. Which means they also deal damage that way. So to the enemy's neighbors. Plus four retaliate, so anything dealing damage to my hero will then take um, four damage. And plus four siege, so any time my heroes are blocked, four damage will then go to my opponent's um, side as well. So we'll take that. We get a payday. Okay. Obviously I can't cast black spells because I haven't got any black heroes. And I really want to keep initiative here if I can, which I can. Good. So he's not doing any damage to these because of Vesture. We've got six health on here. Still not doing any damage to me. <laughs> Vesture is probably best um, item in the game. Commander, a fancy title for a petty thug. This. He's playing all he can to try and defend, but he can't do too much. I won't leave this battlefield. So at the moment he's killing my middle tower, but I don't care about that because we only need to make sure the second one isn't destroyed. I guess we'll have fun over here. Three heroes with Vesture equipped. A bit broken. Okay, so we have to go through the formality of these lanes, and then we'll um, <laughs> do a lot of damage to the last one. How do you pronounce this name? Was it Captain Juhu Xi? Is that a thing? Don't know. So we're going to give five creatures siege over here. And we're still pointing forwards as well, so we might be able to slot in and get a win. We have Sniper's ability, which can then take out one of the heroes as well, so... Will tell us what to do. We should be able to win next turn, or this turn rather. This is the only sort of video I'm going to try and explain what everything does as well because um, otherwise it would make commentary really, really awkward. I'd rather try and explain what my thinking is and than try and explain every single thing that's going on. So I know this is a bit of a mix, so I don't think it's very good, but we'll get something out there. That's what I want. Come on, pass. I want my turn. Time of Triumph, one of the best finishes in the game. It's pretty, pretty broken. A lot of the spell quality in this game is pretty high. Especially in blue. Okay, he's gone over there to try and block. Okay, so we've lost the tower, but we don't care. Now we've got Time of Triumph. Boom. So everything now gets massive. We're not taking any damage at all from anything. Hardly. Putting it through for 20 damage. Uh, we can use Sniper's ability to deal 5 damage. Which we can use on here or here. Which then means we get through for a lot more health. It's even things damage immunity. That's rude. So I can't now deal 5 damage to anything. So I think we just go through the siege. We'll have to win next turn.
So he's got to either find a way of doing 80 damage here or 40 damage over here. But we've got enough blockers, he's only got one card in hand, which isn't an item. So this, oh, it shows you. So this is a normal spell card. This is one of the items he's purchased from either his item deck, consumables, or the secret shop. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but let me know if you want me to keep my face on these videos. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but... If, if you want it, you can have it. It's, it's not... Doesn't bother me. So there is a way I can lose on this lane. Um, it involves a massive combo. But it's unlikely that he can do it with just four cards. And his deck isn't really run to do that, I don't think, so we should be okay. But if you could do that, I wouldn't be able to do anything against it anyway, so. No one can match my tactical brilliance. I think we're okay. So we're still doing 20 damage over here. See my eyes go for work. Mm. Oh, he played that thing. That's fine. My death brings us victory. Okay, so he can't win anymore. Well, he can actually. But. <laughs> That would be even less likely. Right. We just need to pass here. Don't need to pass here. Oh, should I? Let's just get the win. So this fights these things now. Kills them. We didn't take any damage because we've got such high armour. We can get through for damage now. Okay. In fact, let's go for the ultimate kill. Let's slay that to kill it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Let's snipe her that out of the way. Oh, add four. He surrendered! Ah, oh. There you go. That's a game of artifact. Um, probably not the best explained one, but I did my best. I tried. I'll go back to the menu. I'll quickly show you the deck. That's what we played. Oh, hello. Is that a button I wanted to press? This one. That's better. So I can show you it better. So it shows you the nine items we had and also the 40 cards. So these are the five heroes. We had Axe, Bounty Hunter, Phantom Assassin, Legion Commander, and Sniper which you can see their signature cards in here. And then we ran a few other things, which I'll let you look up. But that's it, that's Artifact. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat rushed and awkward video, but um, I'm sure I'll get into the swing of things again um, when I'm used to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.